Hey everybody, it's Greg Rice and we're here in West Greenwich. Yes. We're with Anthony, the owner, the founder of The Best Detailers. How you doing, brother? Good, how about you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Anthony and I actually met from my wife. My wife brought in her uh, RAV4. Yes. And uh, she, she really, uh, I love her, but doesn't take care of the car that well. Uh, the dogs are in and out, mud, dirt, grease, grime, you name it. And she brought it here, and when it was done, it was like off the showroom floor. So since then, I got my truck all set, yep. and now I got my Mustang in here today, which we'll show you some footage of later. So Anthony, tell us, how did you get started? How did you get started in this business? Uh, so how I got started is after, after high school, when I was like 18 years old, I started detailing, doing it as like a side thing. I was always in construction, uh, probably for like five to like eight years all together. And then kind of got sick of construction, wanted to branch out on my entrepreneurial journey. Um, started learning, 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 infinite amount of knowledge about detailing, how to buff, how to ceramic coat, basically all things detailing. Got my own bay probably a little over two years ago and then took off from there, got LLC, got insured, got certified, and basically now we're here. And you used to be in construction, right? That was your your trade? Yes, it was. And then you were like, there's just, no, it's negative. There's very limited growth opportunities. Mm -hmm. I know I was involved. My father was a mason for 35 years. No kidding. So we love construction, but it's tough. It is. It's super tough. It's a bad environment and this, altogether. This, you get that satisfaction, right? Absolutely. Tell us about how you feel every time a customer comes and they see their car. So it's always about... Like I was telling you earlier, it's about quality over quantity with me. I'm not trying to push out a bunch of vehicles right. a day. I focus on one vehicle a day, give it all the attention it needs. And then my goal is when the customer comes, I want them to be wowed. I want it to look like they just bought it off the lot. Yeah. Um, I, I love seeing their reactions, their faces. Right. Uh, when they open up the door, they see the interior and like yeah. look at the paint. Like, did you repaint it? I've gotten that before. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, it's just, it is satisfying just to see that. That means the yeah. world to me in general. And what are the like the, the levels or the services that you offer? So like, what's the simplest up to the most complex? Yeah, so um, anything from like basic interiors to basic exteriors, which is like, so like basic exterior would be like a wash and a wax, or um, a basic interior would be like a quick wipe down and then vacuum it out thoroughly all the way up to like paint corrections, which mm. is removing any um, imperfections in the paint, basically restoring it to brand new. We use a heavy compound followed up by ultra fine polish. And then it'll be your choice whether you'd want wax, um, machine wax, hand wax, or ceramic coating. And ceramic coating is top of the mark, right? Yes, that's top of the line. Um, basically the best thing that we offer. And what is a ceramic coat to the folks at home? What is that? It's basically like a sheet of glass that goes over your paint. It has hydrophobic properties, makes, makes in, making everything run down the paint, making maintenance easier, so you don't have to worry about bug splatter, rock chips, yeah. um, watermarks, basically all of that goes away. It also provides like a high gloss to your vehicle, which I personally like. I like it just basically illuminates your whole paint, making it look brand new, years to come. You can do like a two year or a five year, whatever your choice is, and it's there to last. As long as you maintain it, you gotta yeah. use like, um, they sell ceramic sprays that you can maintain it with. You basically can wash it uh, with the high subs, clean microfiber towel, sponge, or foam mitt, um, and then you follow it up with that spray, and you just it just looks amazing. Well, what about the car wash? How would the car wash affect a recent ceramic job? Like the the ones you go through the you know scrub a dog yeah. or places like that. So you got to do touchless. If you run through gotcha. a car wash. It's got to be touchless or it's just going to beat the crap out of the paint. Gotcha. It's going to beat up the ceramic coating, which basically takes away its um, hydrophobic it's properties. Shine. It's shine. It's basically how it looks all together. So you want to be as touchless as possible. I recommend like using, if you're going to do it yourself, use a foam cannon, mm. uh, all clean stuff, high sud soap, pH neutral, pH balance uh, soap as well. Um, and then if you go through a car wash, there's a bunch of touchless car washes you can go through. It'll basically keep everything off the paint, won't touch it at all. 
won't harm it, and it'll look awesome after. What are your opinion of the car washes? A lot of us have, you know, the monthly memberships. Mm. What's your opinion of those, you know, for the everyday person? Is it really eating away and scratching your paint, or is it something that's just keeping it up and actually is doing a good thing? Um, it, I mean, it's up to you. If you don't really care about, like, swirl marks and stuff like that on your paint, and you just want it to, like, shine yeah get all the stuff off your vehicle absolutely i love the idea idea of it i love the monthly descriptions that they they offer yeah i think it's a really cool idea but if you're somebody that like doesn't want the scratches on your paint doesn't want watermarks and stuff like that you bring it to a detailer yep. and then they they take care of it for you so you yeah. just have that like new finish and how about classic cars have you worked on any classic cars i have a bunch of them what kind um from old dodge vipers to old Porsches to classic Mustangs. I just did a Volkswagen the other day. It was a Volkswagen bus. Oh, was um, nice? Yeah, yeah. Like the 33 windows or whatever? Yeah, it was big. Yeah. It was big. But yeah, I've done I've done quite a few classic cars. How about Monte like Carlos? 70s muscle cars, any Chevelles, Nova, stuff like that? Yeah, both of those, um, the Mustang was as yeah. well. And then the Monte Carlo was, I, I believe it was either 80 or 70s. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. So you bring in one car at a time mm -hmm. for the day. Yes. So to you at home, I mean, like you said before, it's not about like the, oh, I, I got six cars today to do and, you know, looking beyond you to the next person always. And you see that a lot in this day and age. It, you mm -hmm. walk in the door, wherever it is, even if it's a, a barber shop, a restaurant, mm -hmm. they're looking past you. That's right. how I feel. They're not looking at you. Mm -hmm. And that's... That's sad because people want to be taken care of. And you can feel that too you can off feel of that. somebody. So when I meet you, when you meet Anthony, you're going to say, wow, am I the only one here? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So that's important. He'll take the whole day. Absolutely. As long as it... Or more mm -hmm. to get that done. So a, a very happy and satisfied customer. And I highly recommend you check them out. How can they get in touch with you? Are you on the web, Instagram, uh, YouTube? Yeah. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, YouTube, uh, all wow. the same ads um, at the best detailers. And then you can reach me by my phone number, uh, 401-262-7580. Awesome. I'll answer every single time. You can text, call, whatever you need. You can message me on any platform as well. Um, and then follow me for great content. I'm always editing videos and progressing in that as well. Yeah. And yeah, you can see really cool videos on there. And uh, it's a little tricky to get here. It's in West Greenwich, yes. right? We're on West Greenwich line and you're coming in the exit six plaza mm -hmm. and then the GPS will stop you there. It'll say you've reached the destination. You're like, this well, is Dunkin' Donuts. Like, yeah. What am I doing here? So you gotta keep going to the right of the plaza and then you bang another right, and it's like in an industrial mm -hmm. industrial complex here. So um, come check it out. And again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments field below. We'll get right back to you. Once again, Greg Rice and Anthony. Nice to see you, Greg. Here in West Greenwich.